Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about how to test our two-way data binding in Angular. For understanding this particular unit testing, let me quickly move into Visual Studio Code. So here I have created a sample example and this has been completely explained in the Angular tutorial basic two-way binding video. I'll provide the link in the description. For now, let's understand in a glance. So what I have created is, so I have created HTML and the TypeScript file. Inside the TypeScript, I have a modal test and this is binded completely to my ng model. So whenever there is a change in the input field, the modal test value will be changed. And whenever the modal test value is changed, the input field will be changed. And also there are two events that is set and get. Whenever the input field is updated and if I try to call this particular check value that means get modal value then it has to return the modal value that means the entered value inside my HTML input field and also whenever I click on this set modal value what it will do is it will update my modal test and whenever my modal test is updated then my input field should be updated let me save this one and go to my spec file let me create two variables so let fixture colon component fixture which is of type app component and let me create one more thing called as component instance colon it's an app component type and also let me assign the instances fixture is equal to test bed dot create component of app component we created our app component and let me assign the instance for that particular app component by using fixture dot component instance so we have created our fixture as well as a component instance now i want to test the first use case what is my first use case the value of my modal test is empty so my input value will be empty that we know now what i want to do is i want to update this modal test from my spec file that means update the modal value from controller so it has to affect in our input element let's have a callback and inside the callback component instance dot sorry i have created this inside the before each let me pass this above the before each and now component instance dot modal test equal to what i want to pass i want to pass some updated value from controller this is my string and let me update the fixture fixture dot detect changes this will detect our changes and once our ui is stable then i have a promise based and it is a callback inside the callback let me access that element that is html input element this can be accessed by using fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector it is a id so hash and let me define this id modal id let me copy this modal id and define in our html content by using id equal to modal id let me save this and go to the spec file so we have accessed this element what is our expectation now whenever i access this element the value of that particular element should be equal to the value which is updated that means update value from the controller let me copy this and paste here semicolon let me save this let us run this particular test cases by using ng test command now our expected value has been failed why because this value has been updated by our modal test but our modal test is engaged with our input element by using ng model but one problem in spec file is we are not using any ng model to access our ng model to an input field that particular module should have a imported value called as forms module let me import forms module and here we have imported our forms module and save this now our html is able to detect that ng model and our value will be getting updated so here one case has been successfully passed so whenever we are using our dependencies that dependencies can be configured in our configure testing module to understand more about configure testing module please watch the configuration for this testing module in my previous videos let me go with the second use case now what i want to do is i want to update my input field whenever i updated my input field it has to update our modal test value so update input 
field and check model test value and it has a callback inside the callback let me update the fixture first fixture dot detect changes and fixture dot when stable it is a promise based so I can use dot then and inside this we have a callback inside the callback let me pass const element what is my element it's an HTML input element to access this element we can use fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector that means the input ID so what is my ID modal ID let me copy this and pass here with a hash because it is a ID give semicolon enter and now we are able to access the element let me update the element value is equal to what is my value the value is updated input value here just updating this value will never update your ng model so i'll show you in experimental way so what i will do is element dot value the value is updated input value which should be equal to our component instance dot model test so as per our understanding whenever i change this value it should affect this particular model test but in this case it will not affect let me save this it may throw the error so if you see here it is always unexpected input value to equal of empty that means it is always treating our model test as empty why because until unless there is some event emitted it will not able to capture that model test what is that event let's use element dot dispatch event with new event what we are doing we are changing the input field that means we are entering the input event so whenever there is an input event this value gets updated and whenever this value gets updated our component instance model test value will be updated let me save this and check the output so here also it has been updated one more thing here we can also expect expect one more thing that is the paragraph element let me create an id for this paragraph id equal to let me give some para model id so go to the spec file and here let me access that first const para element colon which is of html paragraph element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my query selector it's of an id go to the html copy this id paste inside the spec file and now we are able to access the HTML element as well. And here my expectation will be element dot inner HTML should be equal to this value that is updated input value or also you can say that model test. So let me pass this string and it is also equal to our expectation of para element dot inner html dot to equal of component instance dot model test why because our model test is also updated let me save this here there is a problem because expected empty to equal of updated input value why because inner html is not updated because my model test value has been updated but my fixture is not updated whenever there is a change in the instance values then our fixture need to be updated fixture dot detect changes of and fixture dot when stable whenever this is stable I have a then property inside the then I have a callback inside the callback let's move all this code after updating our fixture let me save this and now it should work because the values are getting updated with my input element so see here two test cases has been successfully qualified because here it is dispatching the value and the dispatch value is updating our model but whenever my model is updated again my fixture is not getting updated so that is the reason we have to update our detect changes whenever there is a change in the model test and now let me go with the third test case and here let me create one it variable and inside the it what I want to do I want to test this particular get model value whenever my value of this model test changes then this model value should return as a variable all the or the particular value from our get model value so what I can do is here let me check the values of get model method so what I want to do is I want to update the model value from my element that is const element that is an input element html input element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot 
query selector of what is my selector the selector is model id so let me pass this model id with a hash and before this let me update my fixture fixture dot detect changes and whenever this fixture is stable then i want to get the values or a callback inside the callback let me pass the flower brace and here copy this and paste here so my input field is ready and let us assign some value dot value equal to updated value and here after updating this i want to dispatch an event dispatch event of new event what is my event it is a input change so i can pass input event my event is triggered whenever my event is triggered my value should be changing in my modal test so expect of component instance dot modal test dot to equal of my updated value that is updated value copy this and paste here this will change our modal test value and also one more expectation is component instance dot get modal value it's a method and that return value of this method is updated value let me copy this and paste here give semicolon save if you see here all the three test cases has been passed because we are calling this get a modal value and this get modal value is returning the updated value which is updated by our html input element and there is the last case that is set modal value so here i will create one id to set value this is my id and let me save this go to the spec file and create the test case it of what i want to do i want to update the input field and modal test by click event whenever i do a click event it has to update both input field as well as modal test variable so here let me update the fixture first fixture dot detect changes after this fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable then i have a callback inside the callback let me pass a flower brace and here let me access the element first that is btn element button element so it is a type of html button element and here let me use fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my id hash so let me go to the html file and set value copy this and pass here so we got the element and here expect of here what i want to do is i want to trigger a click event btn element dot click so this will emit an event and after emitting the event what i want to do is i want to check the value that is expect of my value component instance dot modal test this should be equal to the value which is getting assigned when i click this button so what is my assigned value that is updated the mock value let me copy this and paste here let me save this here the four test cases has been passed that means whenever i click this particular button it is updating the modal test but whenever my modal test is updated the value inside my html element will not be updated so for that sake we will use again detect changes and also fixture dot when stable dot then it's a callback inside the callback what we'll do is we will try to access the element that is html input element equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my query selector of that input field the input field scale query selector is modal id and pass the hash so this value the element value should be equivalent to the value that is updated modal value so element dot value should be equal to my updated the modal value let me copy this and pass here our modal value inside our html input element will also change let me save this and here four test cases has been passed successfully and also one more test case that is expect of component instance dot get modal value this should return dot to equal of the return value of this should be equal to again updated the modal value string let me pass this semicolon save this 
so even in this case also it has been passed successfully so this is how we will be testing our basic ng model and in the next video we'll try to see an advanced level of ng model inside the forms and how to operate them by using our events as well as by using our properties of a component instance hope you guys like my video please like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you